Hey guys, I want to go over this article that I saw on gotquestions.org on MGTOW, and you can go to gotquestions.org slash mgtow dot html, and it goes right to the, their, that article that I'm looking at. Looks like Got Questions has changed their website. They used to have like a couple of websites, and it looks like they went with their alternative website's design. Mm -hmm. I wonder if the other one still exists. I don't remember what it was called. I used to love Got Questions when I first got saved, and I was interested in the Bible. I thought, you know, this is a website that I can go to, and, you know, it, it helped me, you know, with everything. It would, but. And it, it was helpful, but. Uh, you know, some of the early things that I started disagreeing with was, you know, the issue on the King James Bible, and then I found out that they're like a Calvinist website, they got a Calvinist perspective, and, you know, they're all about the church buildings and everything, so, uh, there's, there's quite a few different things, uh, that I don't agree with them now, and, um, I think that they're, they're probably dispensational, and, and, you know, there's probably more... There's a lot of stuff that I disagree with. Okay, obviously they they teach the Trinity and and in that Jesus you know was fully man and fully God and, and all that stuff. So uh, and all that stuff's good. So they do have some good stuff on here. You can learn some, but um, <clears throat> anyway, when I was just Google searching for Christian MGTOW stuff, this came up, and this is just as ignorant as Steven Anderson, where they don't have any idea what they're talking about, and I just wanted to go over the article and, and point some things out. So it says, How should Christians view men going their own way? And again, men going their own way basically means that, you know, these are men who have chosen not to be in relationships with women, not, not to date, not to get married. Okay, basically. They're going to live as a single man. Okay, which... There's nothing biblically wrong with that whatsoever. The question is, how should Christians view men going their own way? Which is MGTOW. It's, you know, the abbreviated form of that. So the answer, they say, men going their own way is a web-originated social movement centered on men's rights. Okay, there's quite a few things about that wrong, about that opening statement, the very first sentence. Okay, <clears throat> it's a web-originated social movement. Well, first of all, I mean, since the beginning of time, you know, there's been men that have decided to not get married, uh, to live um, as a single man. And a couple of those in the Bible, some big ones, would be Paul and Jesus. They were never married, okay? And there was nothing wrong with that whatsoever. So, uh, I think that, what was it, Timothy? I don't think he was married either. Could be wrong, but... Uh, they, uh, I'm sure there's plenty of others, but just in the New Testament, those are some of the major ones. Uh, I don't even know if there's, there's nothing, I don't think, I don't think there's anything said of John the Baptist being married, but I could be wrong, but just because it doesn't say anything doesn't mean that they weren't, but, um, anyway, let's see. So, so the idea... Um, so, you know, men have been living single throughout history. Uh, MGTOW is just kind of a label, and you can say that the label is, um, web-originated, but, you know, men being single isn't web-originated, that's, it's life, so... As social movement, a lot of people don't agree with it being called a movement, and, um... It's more of just men who are single. It's a banner. It's a label to where uh, men can get together and identify with the same with, with other men who are single who who do not want to get married. So they can have like a community. So they can have you know fellowship. But a movement. Um, you know, I don't know, like, a movement has, like, a, a purpose or a cause or whatever, and there isn't really. It's just it's just men who have decided not to get married. They're going to live their lives as single, and they're just fellowshipping with other men who are single. 
And you know, and then at the end is where it's really wrong, where he says it's centered on men's rights. That's absolutely wrong because each individual MGTOW might have a lot of different, you know, there are some who are atheists, there are some who are Christians, there are some who are uh, Muslim or whatever other religion. So religion's not really a factor. And, and um, they, a lot of people have different opinions. You know, there are some men who are really bitter. There are some of them who have already been through marriage and divorce and they're not going to get married again. And, you know, some who are never married in the first place, etc. So... Um, just what's at the core of it is that they're just men who have decided to to live their life as a single man, and it's nothing about men's rights. Okay, there might be some men who get in the communities who want to talk about men's rights, and what I've seen that happens when people do that is they're directed over to MRA. See, MRA is another group that is men men's rights activists. Okay, they are the ones who are about men's rights. MGTOW are just about living their life as a single man, how they want to live it, basically. Okay? And um, when you get to a MGTOW community, you can see all kinds of different things. Like, you know, there are men who have pets, they have dogs, they love their dogs, like, you know, man's best friend, right? So, they'll share pictures of their dogs and talk about them, or some men like motorcycles and stuff, so they'll share their motorcycle pictures or whatever. Some men like fitness, and, and some men like finances, and they want to help encourage other men to, um, to you know, invest and, and to uh, make wise choices and, you know, um, be in good shape, and they don't want to encourage, you know, laziness among men. You know, just because you're not married doesn't mean you shouldn't be doing these things. You know, you should be doing it even more. You should be focused on improving yourself. And you know, there are a lot of people who are consider themselves MGTOW who might drink and smoke and stuff like that. And you know, there's other MGTOWs who are against drugs. And they say, you know, you should be sober-minded. So everybody has a lot of differences. But when it comes to, you know, a group that is all about men's rights, it's MRA, because I'll see in the communities if somebody starts saying, you know, we should, you know, MGTOW needs to do something, we need to fight for her rights or whatever, and they'll say, you know, no, this is about each individual doing their own thing, and if you're all about men's rights, then you need to go to MRA, because that's men's rights activists. So first of all, um, this article doesn't understand that at all. I don't know when this article is written. It, it makes me interested because, you know, just how the popularity of MGTOW is growing. Um, they're getting all these responses like this. And I don't know if the person who wrote this article is a male or female. I don't know if the person who wrote this article is married or not. Or whatever. But um, they, don't, they don't understand it, obviously. They're, this is a straw man. And... Uh, you know, they're confusing MRA with MGTOW, just like a lot of people would con con confuse incel with MGTOW. Incel is supposed to be men who are involuntary celibate. Um, they they want to be in a, they want to date girls, they get married, but for whatever reason they feel like they're rejected. Okay, and then there's another group uh, where MGTOWs would call a lot. Um, trad cons are tra traditional conservatives you know which um a christian MGTOW can kind of fall under that category as well is to where they just wish that things were the way that they were in the past that because of feminism and you know the way that things are now that marriage is an ideal um but it was in the past and you know marriage was a lot more respected and everything and um so the tra traditional conservatives, you know, do want more families and, and kids and everything and wives, but they uh, they just see issues with what with what's going on and MGTOW. Um, I think those two can can kind of go hand in hand too, but then there's MGTOWs that don't think so. So, but either way, and then you know, feminism. Uh, I think that feminism is a movement. Feminism uh, is more about putting the, the, the woman over man or trying to make man... Well, they say they're trying to make woman equal with man, but they're really trying to um, 
usurp men in a lot of ways. And so um, I don't think there's anything wrong with, with women's groups. There's nothing wrong with women not wanting to get married and do their own thing and, and live life as a single. But, um, you know, I think that feminism is uh, more of an attack. And feminism is something that I don't see uh, Christianity... You know, I can't see really like a Christian woman being a feminist at the same time. But you know, a a woman going her own way, or you know, uh, that I can see that that's fine. You know, a woman who wants to remain single, nothing wrong with that. So, um, but that's not what MGTOW is. It's not a movement. It's not about men's rights. So I'll continue. That was just the first sentence. That was an error there. Men who identify as MGTOW are typically single. Well, that's pretty much the uh, the core of it. You know, there are married men who want to say that they're MGTOW, but you can't be MGTOW, you know. Because it's called men going their own way, there are men who are married who will say, well, I still go my own way. You know, my wife doesn't care what I do or whatever, so I, I'm my own man or whatever, but... <clears throat> there, but that's not what MGTOW is about. It's about not, you know, being in a relationship. So you can't you can't be married and, and be a MGTOW, basically. Um, so, you know, typically single? No, they're all single. That's what they should be. Straight? Um, you know, that's... You know, there are some that aren't straight. So generally the majority, probably, yeah. But that's not really a core of it. And focused on being who they want to be without the entanglements of relationships of women. Sure. Men going their own way, and he has the entanglements in um, parentheses. Okay. Which I would say that even, um, even in the scriptures... It talks about how, you know, the man who is married and has kids or whatever has to tend to the things of his wife and his kids when, um, you know, the one who's single can focus more on God. And it's not condemning marriage. I mean, it's in the scripture. But, and that verse isn't even mentioned in this article, ironically. So in that sense, you could say, yeah, they are entangled more in the world. I mean... And there's not necessarily anything wrong with that. That's what, you know, that's just the way that it is. But to act like there there isn't any kind of entanglement, I mean, whatever. Men going their own way is sometimes referred to as the marriage strike, the marriage boycott, or the sexodus. Okay, okay. sure, whatever. Uh, that kind of implies more of a... Uh, movement again like some kind of activism like a, a strike or a boycott it's really not that it's uh you know just men who are going to be single and uh apparently there's a big issue with that MGTOW men claim to understand the games again in parentheses <laughs> women play in relationships uh you know men and women play games in relationships so if he's going to pretend like that stuff doesn't happen, then I guess he's just blind. I don't know who chooses to be. Either. And they refuse to play, okay? Um, their website says that... Now, this is their website. See, this is where they get issues because they're not really part of the communities or anything. They're looking on the outside inward, so they just go to some website or some forum or whatever, or they go to some YouTube video, and they think that because somebody lists certain things that this is what, you know, all MGTOW must be. That's like if I made a website, which I'm sure the website already exists, but let's just say, you know, Christianity.com. So I so we go to Christianity.com, and whatever doctrines they teach on there, that's that's standard Christianity, right? Wrong. That doesn't determine what Christianity is because Christianity.com says something. You know, just like gotquestions.org, they would probably like to think that they're the standard for Christianity, and they're not. Okay? Um, <clears throat> so just because you go to MGTOW.com or whatever MGTOW website or whatever MGTOW YouTube channel or whatever MGTOW forum and you see certain things, it doesn't mean 
that that's, you know, what it comes down to. But let's see, their website says that MGTOW is a statement of self-ownership where the modern man preserves and protects his own sovereignty above all else. (laughs) It is seen by many as a reaction against the changes that feminism has made to society. Um, I mean, kind of, but I mean, you know, from the... uh, like I said, men, men since the beginning of time have been living single, and you know that's what's at the core of it. And it's just those single men are are um, finding community online, and that's about it. I mean, feminism has made more people want to be single. I mean, it makes sense. I mean, and the Me Too movement thing is is probably a big part of it in, in recent times. I mean. And I think there's a lot of valid validity to that, you know, especially Harvey Weinstein and, and certain other men, you know, are definitely, you know, and there's questions about things like when it comes to celebrities and a woman comes out and says that, you know, she was uh, abused or whatever, and, you know, for one thing, it can come out like years later, like, you know, way later, and it's like, well, why didn't she come out then, you know, when it happened? which is one questionable thing. And then another thing is why, uh, you know, sometimes these women who are looking to be famous actors or whatever to get a good role, you know, they'll use sex or, or whatever to try to to get that. And so when Harvey Weinstein or whatever, you know, comes on to them like that, you know, they'll they'll go along with it at first because they want to get this position and then later on they'll come out against him and say you know well it was really against their will or whatever when really they were kind of involved in it too you know what I mean and a lot of women see that too I mean a lot of women would agree with some of those things but at the same time there were a lot of there are a lot of scumbag guys okay so I'm not going to deny that and then at the same time there are just a lot of outright false you know claims and, and, and it's gone really far and you know it can destroy men and uh it makes men more tense in the workplace and stuff like that like i've read websites or you know i've seen videos or whatever in the news like certain jobs you're not going to be able to shake hands with people anymore because you know that can be seen as sexual or something when generally that's you know how you introduce yourself to somebody and um so you know we can't even look at each other anymore in the eyes we can't even uh say anything to any anybody anymore so uh it's making a and you know you know it is because of sin and everything else i mean i mean it's because of sin at the root of it but the fact that there's divisions and stuff that uh and i know that christ said he calls divisions but we're not talking about that but we're just talking about you know divisions between sexes but does it divisions between the races etc um you know, it's unfortunate, but, uh, anyway, so, let's see, and I mean, well, here's the thing, too, like, so MGTOW communities are communities where guys who are choosing to be single and light are meeting, and then we have this feminism and the Me Too stuff going on, and people Google it, you know, and they say, you know, this Me Too stuff, you know, I can't even talk to a woman at work anymore or something, and then MGTOW's going to pop up in the search results. And then they're going to see a lot of other single men who have issues with these things, and uh, and then, you know, they find community. So that's kind of what, what it is. Women in society are major targets of MGTOW's fight. There is no fight. He's going back to the men's rights stuff. There is no fight. It's men choosing to be single. And there's nothing wrong with that biblically. biblically. They're trying to make this into something it's not. And even if you go into the MGTOW forums and communities and you'll see them say this stuff, you'll see them say this isn't about a fight. Okay? (sighs) And if you want to fight or whatever, you go to the MRA, the men's rights activists. There are no targets. Women in society are the major targets of MGTOW's fight. There's no fight. There's no targets. It's men going their own way. Men choosing to live single. 
It's in the it's in the name, and they're not getting it. Men going their own way believes women take advantage of men for sex and money, and then burn them. Well, that has happened to men. So, <clears throat> again, and men going their own way believes blank anything. Uh, that's open for any individual to believe whatever they believe. There is no group think, okay? <laughs> men, men going their own way. It's, it's, it's each. It's individualistic. So you know they could put whatever they they could, they could read what any random MGTOW person says and then say men going their own way believe this, okay? But that doesn't mean that that as a group it believes anything. They also believe society at large has turned against men, as evidenced by family and divorce court rulings that favor women over men. And there's some truth to that. So, so I guess that truth is an issue with gotquestions.org. You know, uh, let's continue here. Uh... Well, I mean, usually it is. I mean, I know a lot of instances, even personally, where a couple gets divorced or whatever, they have children, and, you know, even the guy that I'm working with that works, uh, you know... Okay, one of the guys that I work with has a divorce, and he's paying alimony and stuff, and... You know, it's just crazy. And the woman, his ex-wife, is living with a guy, I think. And I think that if uh, if the wife... It's like she's in violation, basically, of where she's not supposed to be getting alimony. He's talked about hiring a private investigator. I mean, stuff like that happens. A lot of divorces that I've known, usually the woman, you know, gets a lot out of it. Even if she didn't work or whatever. Um... You know, maybe there's some instances where that's that makes sense, but and also when there's kids involved, usually the woman gets the kids all the time, even if the woman isn't more fit to have the kids. Because I've seen that, you know, I've had friends who didn't have you know the rights to their kids, and um, the mom with the kids had like terrible living conditions, like way worse than than he did. So. But anyways, you know, it goes both ways, but just to say that there, there's, there's nothing wrong is not right. Uh, usually in court, the court favors men over women, or men, women over men, I'm sorry. That's just the way that it is. I think that anybody knows that. Feminist white knights, okay, white knights and quotation marks, men who are chivalrous towards women, social justice warriors, the deep state, and LGBTQ advocates are all seen as enemies of any man who simply wants to be a man. I don't think that any of that's really true. You know, a lot of Christians think that feminism is sinful, and, uh, and obviously that LGBTQ is sinful, and see a lot of issue with social justice warriors because they're generally generally against Christianity in the deep state. <laughs> they're against freedom of speech. They're against Christianity. They're against conservatism. All of these groups are. So I don't know if MGTA or GotQuestions.org stands for all that stuff or what, but it's crazy. And white knights are not men who are chivalrous toward women I mean whether you agree with the term white knights or not usually it's it's men who stick up for women in a sense uh, you know whether it's validated or not um, it's not men who are chivalrous toward women that just makes me think of a guy who opens a door for a woman or whatever but a white knight's more of like when women use men as pawns to defend them basically, or whatever, um, you know, maybe when they're not even in the right, uh, men will just do it just because women, you know, men just do lots of things for women just because women, that's the way that it is, okay, and, you know, that's not always right, 
So, you know, it, if, if somebody defends somebody because they're right, then good. If somebody defends somebody because they're a woman, <laughs> then, you know, that's not good. It's because. There are several levels of involvement in MGTOW. Now, this is another thing where it goes way off, and I've never, ever heard of this, ever. And I've known about MGTOW for at least, like, two or three years. There are several levels of involvement in MGTOW. The most actualized MGTOW is called a level four. Never heard of this, ever. These men shun all relationships with women in the blue pill world, in quotation marks. Members of their movement are red-pilled, in quotation marks. And men outside of or opposed to their movement are called blue-pilled, in quotation marks. A reference to Neo's choice to understand the true nature of the world in the movie The Matrix. And so there's the whole blue pill, red pill thing, and you see this a lot on MGTOW forums, but you see it a lot everywhere, even in Christianity, even in conservative news, where the red pill is supposed to represent the person who understands the truth, basically, and the blue pill is the person who is, like, ignorant, you know. And it comes from the movie The Matrix. <coughs> but... Uh, but yeah, I mean, that's you see that a lot in Christianity and stuff too, the red pill and the blue pill. I mean, right? You know, us as Christians, we have the red pill as opposed to, you know, the lost world who is the blue pill. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> I don't really see anything wrong with marriage, and, and I think that MGTOWs can have different opinions on this. You know, it's whether an individual chooses to be married or not. Um, but if there are people who are ignorant to things that are going on in this world with the sexes, then they're considered blue pill. You know, kind of like the person who wrote this article. Okay. Instead of bowing to society's expectations of what men should do, they live on their own terms. Um, that's not really true. So, I mean, maybe, I don't, instead of bowing to society's expectations of what men should do, they live on their own terms. It's just about men being single. So, I think that society in general a lot does push the idea of being in a relationship. You know, you see it in movies, you hear about it in songs. Uh, you generally, your family and your friends will pressure you into being a in a relationship. So, uh, you know, it's not about against going against society. It's just about choosing to be single. So, but generally, that is going against society because you know society does push the idea of being in a relationship a lot. A MGTOW at level 4, which is crazy again, never heard of that, never heard of these levels, interacts with society only as much as required for him to survive. I've never heard of that. They're talking about like this is like an Amish person or something. The lowest level of MGTOW is level 0, never heard of that. Men in this category are aware of the problems with society and women, yet believe these realities, realities are worth the risk. Level 1 men reject all forms of long-term personal relationships with women, including marriage, cohabitation, common-law marriage, and any other association that might be used in court to turn him into a woman's servant, in quotation marks. A level 2 man rejects all personal relationships with women, long-term and short-term. You know, MGTOW as, in general, as a whole, is men who are not going to get married. There's no, none of these different levels. I've never seen that before. I have no idea what this person is talking about. And it's kind of interesting how he talks about a man being a woman's servant, in quotation marks. And doesn't the Bible talk about the, the man should serve the woman, the woman should serve the man, and stuff, basically? Uh, it's kind of a biblical idea. Um, I'm kind of wondering if the person who wrote this is even saved, or a Christian. Any contact with women is kept strictly professional and to a minimum. Level 3s have the same views as level 1s and 2s, and this is completely confusing. 
the way that this is written. And it's not even true. None of it's true. So, Plus they refuse to produce more than is strictly necessary for society that the economic production and taxation revenue can fail drastically. I have no idea what this person is talking about. They're just making up stuff as they're going along. I've got 14 minutes left, so i gotta con- I got to rush through this. Christians know God made mankind as male and female, and that marriage is God's idea. Genesis 1, 27, Mark 10, 6 through 9, of course. Amen. Marriage is an honorable estate, and the marriage bed should be kept pure. Hebrews 13, 4. And what is marriage? Is it the legal marriage that we have today? Is it just a, you know, a commitment between a man and a woman before God with witnesses? Or what is it? Is it actually signing of a contract? They don't really go into detail about that. The battle of the sexes and the problems that occur within relationships are due to sin and the fact that people refuse to follow God's blueprint for marriage. See Ephesians 5, 22 through 33. When one follows God's instructions and intentions for relationships, nobody gets burned, in quotation marks. Okay, sure, whatever. MGTOW correctly identifies some problems in society. Okay, so he's saying they are right about some things. The blurring of gender lines. I don't, want, I don't know what that has anything to do with MGTOW. Again, they don't know what MGTOW's about, for instance. And responds the wrong way. Okay, so I guess, again, it responds the wrong way. This insinuates that choosing to be single is wrong. That's basically what it's saying. The MGTOW website, as well as their presence on social media, is full of vulgar language and hostility towards women. You know, the Bible has some vulgar language, and I've made a video about that, how I don't think that, um, you know, quote-unquote curse words are, is so much of a big issue, but if people have a problem with it, if they want to make a big deal of that, okay, whatever. But again, each uh, individual MGTOW is different, so not everybody uses that language. And uh, <clears throat> full of hostility towards women, you know, yeah, there could be a lot of that, but that's not required to be you know a single male and so the feel of much of it is misogynistic and another thing that i pointed out before okay the vulgar language the hostility towards women okay it could be hatred towards mankind because a lot of MGTOW are atheists they're not christians like i said religion is not a matter in it so you know okay He's exam. He's trying to. He's choosing and picking what he wants to point out. What MGTOW is, but he's not looking at you know Christian MGTOWs or whatever, and uh, or he doesn't think that that's compatible. He just doesn't think that you can be Christian and a single man. Apparently, the feel of much of it is misogynistic. Okay. Um, the feel of much of it is misogynistic. You know, I want to say that that's kind of just like a made-up term, but I know that, you know, there is hatred towards women um, all over the world. Um, but sometimes, you know, the thing is that sometimes if, I, if you say certain truths uh, about men or women, you know, it could be seen as hateful against men or women. Just like if I said that homosexuality is a sin and somebody said it's homophobic, you know what I mean? And I'm like, no, it's truth, that's what the Bible says. And so if we say, well, generally, you know, women usually get the children when when a couple splits up or whatever, and that's that's the truth or whatever, you know, that's more than likely, you know, the majority or whatever. But then somebody says, well, that's hatred toward, that's hateful towards women. You know, if we say, well, a lot of women are this way, and they say, well, that's hateful towards women, or if we say a lot of men are this way, and, we, and they, you know, that could be said that that's hateful towards men. So it's really up for question, it's really questionable there, you know, what's misogynistic and what isn't. You know, what's just, what's just plain truth, okay? MGTOW also seems to have issues with authority. I don't think so. You know, there can be there can be MGTOW police officers. There can be MGTOW judges. It doesn't matter. There can be MGTOW lawyers. Um, so that's just a statement. That's just not true, really. They want to be autonomous and free to exercise supreme authority. <laughs> okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting to be single and you know wanting to live your life the way that you want to live it. You know, as far as you know, being a Christian, you're living to follow God. But I mean, you know having your bedroom the way that you want it, being able to dress the way you want, being able to eat what you want. There's nothing wrong with that. 
You know, and I just heard recently a married guy who took his wife to the airport and she went to Florida and he stayed here. And he was like, I took my wife, you know, to go on vacation. He's like, and I'm on vacation because I can sit on the couch. I can watch what shows I want. I can eat what I want. And he's so happy about that, you know. And, you know, a guy who's single can do that any day of the week, any time. So there's nothing wrong with either one. Um, But apparently there is something wrong with choosing to be single with all these people, with Got Questions, with Steven Anderson. <clears throat> Their website states that MGTOW is a manifestation of one word, no. Rejecting modern culture's definition of manhood, they refuse to bow, serve, and kneel for the opportunity to be treated like a disposable utility. The MGTOW man looks out for number one, living according to his own best interests in, in a world would much rather he didn't. And I wonder, I've, I've heard it a lot, too, that single people are more charitable, you know, men and women, whether that's true or not. I mean, but I mean, a lot of people in marriages are, are charitable, too, and I'm not saying that they're not, but I'm just saying that uh, it's not just all the selfishness like they're trying to make it be, you know. Second Timothy 3, 2, 4, war, 3, 2, 3, 4 warns us that the last days people will be lovers of themselves. See, he's going towards selfishness, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents. Ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, not lovers of good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. MGTOW demonstrates this selfishness by glorifying self-autonomy and rejecting God's ordained relationships. That's not. So they're basically saying you can't be single. That's not what the Bible says. That's not what Paul said. That's not what Paul was. That's not what Jesus was. They were single men. I don't know what the hell is wrong with these people. They do not follow God's intentions for relationships. So they're saying God says everybody has to get married, basically. Women and society. Many MGTOW men have been hurt in the past. Some have undoubtedly been treated unfairly. But the answer is not to embrace selfishness, cultivate anger. It's not selfish. Maybe some MGTOW are selfish, but you don't. it's not a requirement for being MGTOW. Cultivate anger, turn against women, and relinquish, relinquish responsibility. The answer is forgiveness in Jesus Christ. So he's saying you can't be a single male and be Christian, is what he's saying. God loves women and male equality. <clears throat> loves, God loves men and women equally. I don't even know. I read that totally wrong. Amen. He desires that all repent of their sins and come to a relationship with him through faith in Jesus. Second Peter 3, 9. Amen. God also desires men and women to have long and meaningful relationships. And he gives John 13, 34 through 35, and Hebrews 10 through 24 through 35. God desires men and women to have long... God says it's perfectly fine for a man or a woman to be single. Okay, so I don't know what your issue is with that. They don't use the verse where Paul talks about a man being single. The Christian life is not a solo existence or a gender-divided venture. Both men and women are made in God's image. Genesis one twenty seven. We reflect him best when we relate in a healthy, respectful manner. Hey, another thing I was thinking about too is how you know the MGTOW communities are communities for single men to get together and, like I said, a lot of times you know inspire each other, encourage each other to live better. And um, and I think the Bible kind of talks about that too. How you know the the men should should help other men and then the women should help other women and help the children basically it talks about that and i mean i think we see kind of a lack of that where you know men want to uh, attain to women more and you know let's just let's just forget men let's just forget our own gender our own sex and you know let's just let's help the women and uh you know so i think it, there's uh, you know it's a great aid for you know men to get together and encourage one another uh, you know, in our own specific group, basically. <sighs> Christians should view MGTOW movement for what it is, a reflection of the human sin nature. <laughs> wow. MGTOW would like us to respond to the inequalities men face with a focus on self-interest and apathy to the needs of women. False. Christian men need to take on their God-ordained roles with patient endurance. They need to love their wives unconditionally and not become weary in doing good, Galatians 6, 9. Those who are caught up in the MGTOW movement are enslaved and devastated by sin. A lot of them are atheists, so, you know, again, he's picking and choosing here. They need our prayers. They need to be rooted and established and loved and have power together with the Lord's holy people and grasp how wide and how deep the love of Christ is, Ephesians 3, 17-18. It is only that love 
It's only love that can turn men going their own way into going God's way. So he's opposing MGTOW and Christianity. That's the whole article. I don't know if I should say he. This could be written by a woman. I don't know. This article says nothing about being single. Uh, it says nothing about the fact that Paul or Jesus were single. It says nothing about you know what Paul said about being single. Um... Oh, let's see here. I wonder if I can find that verse, one of the verse that sp sticks out to me mainly. Um, Paul's letters. Cares. I don't know. It's a, let me see. I'm trying to find this real quick. Ah! Uh, I don't know. Dang it. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I guess that, uh, here's 1 Corinthians 7, 34. What's it say? There's a difference also between a wife and a virgin. The unmarried woman careth for the things of the Lord. And she, she may be both holy in body and spirit, but she that is married careth for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. So, you see, uh, <clears throat> or go back a, a verse, 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 33, But he that is married careth for the things that are of the world, how he may please his wife. You see? And he's not saying that marriage is bad, but he's saying that being single can be good. Whereas Stephen Anderson, GotQuestions.org, and all these other places are saying that for a man, being single is bad. And that it's like God's will for everybody to be married or something like that. I don't, I don't get where they're going, but it's just straw men, false arguments, slander, lies. That's all it is. Uh, it's a ignorance, it's a misunderstanding. It's not realizing that religion isn't an aspect of MGTOW, so they're looking at what a lot of atheist MGTOWs, how, what they're saying. They're not seeing MGTOW for what it is, just men going their own way, men choosing to be single. Um, and so the guy who called in Stephen Anderson about MGTOW on his Q&A actually commented on the video, which is pretty cool. So, um, <clears throat> But... Yeah, I'm sure I'll come back to the subject and stuff, but I just wanted to go to this because I saw this recently. I didn't plan on this video or this audio being this long. But, you know, share your thoughts. And if you just think that MGTOW is just wrong without exception or whatever, then that's your opinion. But but if you come out with arguments and articles like this, then, you know, I'm saying have some valid points because these are not. All right. God bless, guys.